All right, makers, we've made it to part six of our M2 build series. In this video, we are going to attach our Z-axis motor to our Z-axis assembly. So we're gonna take the belt and our Z-axis motor, and we're gonna loop the belt around the large gear and then around the small gear, and we're gonna pull it down until the Z motor bracket is flat against the top of the assembly. Here's another shot from a different angle to kind of show you what we're doing and how we want to loop it on there. So if the belt is not on there, it's not going to pull it tight. So you can see here the belt is underneath where the gear is. So the belts need to be on both of these gears because that's what turns and moves your z-axis up and down. So when you have it lined up straight, then we're ready to put the bolts in the top just like we're doing here. So the bolts that we're going to use are the four silver bolts in that same z-axis bag C and we're going to insert them through the top so they hold the bracket down onto the z-axis assembly. So you can see I'm putting them in right now and then you're going to get the locking nuts and just hand tighten those locking nuts in from the bottom on each one of those. Once those are hand tight, we are going to use the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench again and that flat wrench to hold the nut in place and then spin with the allen on top and that allen or hex wrench will tighten the bolt. So we're going to tighten each one of those all the way down until that bracket is flat against the top of the z-axis assembly. Now once it's attached you want to make sure that the gears are parallel with one another. So if they're not go ahead and loosen the grub screws on one of the gears and then move it up or down a little bit until you eyeball it to make sure that it's level. Just within like a millimeter or two. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty straight when you're eyeballing it that it's level. So that's when the motor moves up and down. It's not stressing the belt too much. Once you've got that all tightened back up, then we're ready for the next step.